What's up guys, Kenan here. So a few months back, just before Thanksgiving, I picked up a Green Mountain Grills Daniel Boom Prime pellet smoker. It's been phenomenal. I've cooked a bunch of things on it from brisket to burgers. Uh, it's just been great, but it has one major flaw and that is this. The grill itself for power uses a 120 volt to 12 volt converter. I'm not sure why they did it, but it is annoying for cooks that go, you know, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 hours, um, any slight thing, the dog running outside to bark at something, trips that wire, it comes unplugged, it can be a nightmare ruining a cook. So today I'm gonna convert my grill to a standalone 120 volt, try to keep up and I'll show you how I'm doing it. And here's my issue, the infamous cigarette lighter plug. For those of you old enough to know what that even means, uh, this thing's annoying and we're gonna fix that. And this is the parts we're gonna do it with. We have to start with a 120 volt to 12 volt LED controller. Um, it's a 15 amp output converter that's just gonna make it easy to go from 120 volt line in to 12 volt line out, which is what the grill wants. You see here your white, black, and green for neutral, hot, and ground. And on the opposite side, you have DC, hot, 12 volt, and ground. Simple enough there. Common T-taps, hopefully not a lot to say there. T-taps suck, I'm gonna switch this for posi tabs later. And then finally, a marine grade receptacle because my grill at least sees some rain. Uh, this thing's pretty dope. It's got three fasteners if you wanna screw it in. It's also got a crown nut on the back to tighten it down and then color coordinated ports, which we love. A white for neutral, black for hot, and green for ground. It's awesome, and we're gonna install it. Now we're looking underneath the uh, pellet hopper. We see there's a grate to keep you from put your hands in there and get your fingers cut off by the fan. Uh, but uh, simple enough to remove this grate, it's two 10 millimeter bolts, use a socket wrench, nut driver, whatever you have. Um, it's just a bolt and a lock washer, you know, righty tighty lefty loosey. They should come off pretty easy and simple. Once they're off, the grate just falls off, if you will, if you're not holding it. So I'm just holding pressure here to catch it so it don't fall violently and then move it out of the way so you can get up under and see. Now that we're looking under the hopper, you can see just below the cigarette lighter plug, there's space for the inverter, which we're gonna see in this next clip. Here's me lining it up, uh, somewhat flush to the bottom. I offset it about an eighth of an inch high, and then I'm going to mark uh, with a center punch holes to drill. So in this inverter, just behind the cable, if you can see there, there's two little holes, and that's what I'm gonna use uh, to hold this thing on the inside. Now we're just drilling some pilot holes. This is a super sped up version of that, but pilot hole on each side, not a whole lot to see there. Next is the hard part, the pilot hole and then two inch hole for the receptacle. Uh, the product called for a one and seven eighth. I cut a two inch hole, which seemed to work. It was just hell getting through the uh, sheet metal for this thing. So take your time. Sorry I didn't capture when I finally broke through, but it, it took a while. Here I'm just pointing out the uh, 12 volt hot and ground on the inside. That's what we're gonna tap into. And here we're just putting the T-taps on the DC side of the connection. So uh, T-taps are pretty simple. It's a mechanical fastener, just like any other crimp connector. You slide the tap on, get your wire nice and in that hole, and then crimp it down. Uh, of note, I think T-taps kind of suck. It's just what I had on hand right now, so I put them on there. I will change these out for posi-taps later, which is a much cleaner, easier to install connection uh, that I think is just all around better. On the input side, all we have to do is strip these wires back. So I snip off the soldered ends that come from the factory and then strip it back about a half inch to some bare wire. The fastener on the receptacle is what's gonna hold them in. So here's the receptacle. Again, white is white, green is green, black is black. You just insert your wires into the back side of the receptacle, use a screwdriver and tighten them down. Uh, there's not a whole lot to it. Of note, kind of skip showing, if you can tell, I have the inverter just kind of hanging in the back there in place while I stick this in. 
Uh, I used some number 10 screws with a lock nut and washer on the back of those. That's what's going to hold the inverter in place underneath the grill. Other than that, just tighten these wires down, slide the receptacle in place, tighten down the castle nut on the back, and you're done mounting the receptacle. And it should look like this when you are done. There it is, nice and mounted. Under the hopper again, uh, we see the female side of the T-taps were placed on that black and red wire that I pointed out within the grill earlier. I'm just plugging in the male side of the T-taps into that female side. If you notice, one of the T-taps came off. I did go back and recrimp that later. Again, I'm going to change these out for posi-taps. T-taps suck. But that was the last step. So with any luck, we plug this in. We should see some lights on the front, which is awesome. Our 12-volt grill should now be 120 volts. Last thing to do would be to bolt the grill grate we took off back underneath. Boom. That's it, guys. So whole process took about an hour. Hardest thing was drilling that hole. Um, the two inch hole kind of sucked, but we got through it. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for enjoying. Uh, feel free, hit the subscribe button, hit the follow button. At this rate, I put out a video about once a year. Maybe I'll get better at it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Uh, when I find something on the internet that I wish I had a video to watch, if it don't exist, I try to make a video of it. Seems like a lot of people are wanting to go to a standalone 120 volt system in the, in the forums for GMG on Facebook and whatnot. So I decided I'd put the video together to show how to do it. So Feel free to comment, subscribe, like, do all those great things. I love you. Peace.